Uh, in terms of PDF details, let's talk a little bit about that. This is our tip of the week um, uh, that we'll go through today. And this is to convert PDF details into editable details. If you've not done this before, what you want to do first is to place an external drawing. So the way you do that is by going to the File menu, go to External Content, and choose Place External Drawing. When um, uh, the dialog comes up, you're going to want to choose uh, and select the PDF file as, and enable that. That's going to be the file format. Uh, so sometimes you'll see a PDF file there and it may be grayed out, screened out, and you can't you know, select it. And that's simply because the PDF format is not selected. Once you select that as your uh, option, or, or you select all available types, either way, uh, then you can select that PDF file. You're either going to place that PDF file onto a worksheet or a detail uh, 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 drawing view. You're going to select that PDF file, and then it'll, it'll show as green when you selected it. You're going to then right-click on that PDF file. You're going to select Explode into Current View. And now a dialog is going to come up asking you some different options here. One is, do you want to keep the original elements after exploding? I typically turn this off. And the reason is because it gets confusing if you leave it on. Uh, in other words, if you leave it on, you, well, let's put it this way. You can leave it on, okay? You could actually um, keep the original. If you do, I would recommend putting that on a different layer, okay? So that um, that way, yeah, you, otherwise, you have the original sitting on top of the exploded elements. So what you want to do is to put it on a layer um, such as original PDS. Um, so that way, you can turn it off while you're working on the um, uh, the the imported uh, or excuse me the exploded PDF, the elements that 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 you can now are editable. Uh, so yeah, if you keep it, put it on a layer that it gets turned off. There's other options as well. Uh, you can choose to um, uh, to have editable conversion options here for layers. You can use the drawings layer, or you can choose specific layer you want elements to go on. Line types, same thing. Use the project attributes as they come over, or you can change those. Build types, the same thing. You can also override options for and make everything uniform pin or uniform font. And actually, uniform fonts actually really nice in particular because a lot of times if you bring over a, um, uh, a DWG file or a PDF file, um, the font may be a different font than you're using for your um, standard details. So by choosing uniform font, then it'll automatically change it to your font type that you use for your detailing your project types. Once you've exploded it, it's all editable. I can start to edit the lines. I can start to edit the text. Uh, it's basically a one. It's basically a, a completely editable two um, D elements now that you can use. Okay, so that's the end of 